Former Amazulu and Warriors midfielder Esrom Nyandoro has opened up on his desire to play for Highlanders when he was still attending out for the Del Malupepe sponsored outfit way back at the turn of the century. Nyandoro, who traveled from Tswane all the way to Limpopo Spolokwane to watch Highlanders take on APSA Premier Soccer League side Baroka FC, did not hide his admiration for Poso, whom he urged to go on and lift some silverware this season. Yeah, basically, I just want to say to wish um, Islanders all the best of, uh, of the luck of uh, this year. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, uh, you know what, we, we expect uh, cups. You know, one of the biggest team uh, 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 back home in Zim, in my uh, country, uh, in my uh, town, in, in, in Blawayo. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that I never had a chance to play for, 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 for Islanders. But I must say, I was the number one fan, although I was playing for Amazon. <laughs> Highlander. <laughs> Nyandoro also spoke about how his dreamer to play for Bozo fizzled into thin air as his boss at Amazulu, Delma Lupepe, who would do anything to keep him at the gold shattered 2003's Babu Champions. I wanted to go and play for, uh, for, for Islanders. I think they were playing um, in one of the uh, top uh, competition in Africa, Cup Champion. Islanders wanted to, to sign me, but um, I must say, my boss, uh, Delma Lupepe, my former boss, Delma Lupepe, said, there's no way you will go to Islanders. I would rather pay you every cent so that you can stay. So, yeah, those, those are the days that we cherish. Uh, Mr. Lupepe is such a good guy. For me, he's my father, my father figure as well. And, uh, yeah, Islanders one of the top, top, top clubs uh, uh, in, in Zim. So, yeah, like I said before, I wish them all the, all, all the very best of luck. We want trophies, eh? We want trophies. Nyandoro, easily one of the most successful players to emerge from Zimbabwe, is regarded amongst the most disciplined in the trade and a role model for the sport. The former Sundowns captain also took some time to motivate the Highlanders players and touched on various aspects of conduct that affect today's players. What is more important is not only about the training camp, it's all about also the lifestyle, what they eat, uh, to look after themselves. Because I always tell uh, players, even the youngsters, to say, you know what, you must respect the game so that the game will respect you. Uh, discipline does not only count in the field of play, but discipline also counts outside of play. What you do, what you eat, uh, when you've got knocks. Because let's take a good example of Cristiano Ronaldo. Each and every time when you get a knock, he goes to the doctor. But us uh, Africans, we've got a tendency of like saying, when you've got a neck, let me just go and drink, the pain will go away. That's not how it is in football. If you want to stay long in football, you just have to do things right. So for Highlanders, it hasn't just been a football all the way in this camp, but exposure and experience in a different environment for the players. It has been quite an eye-opener, and Abaroka have hinted on the need to strengthen our relationships with their Zimbabwe counterparts. Our relationship, starting from the administration to the players, technical, I think this is the beginning of the good relationship, the beginning of good things. I think even next time, we might be even sharing some of the players at least who are doing very well. We might be asking that they come and give us the support. As you see that even in the league here, it's one league which is strongly marketed with a lot of money. But also those who are growing would even love to say they come and join the team. Should the club demonstrate that the camp is useful, the sponsors are ready to make it an annual camp longer than their stay this time around. Tandazani Zimbabwe Television Sport Media, Polowane, South Africa.